present this check for $100 to the grand prize winner of our 1974 Summer Poetry in the Streets contest, Mr. Ted Whitley. Come on up here, Ted, and read your poem.
on a tube-top Venus who undulates my soul and my shorts. I want a virgin whore who speaks perfect Chinese and kisses French fluidly. I want a stainless steel boudoir with a velvety throne. I want a golden parakeet to shit on her soap. I want to loofah the pain and hurt from her ivory shoulder blades. I want a woman who's not afraid of making a right turn in a left lane. I want a pizza with all the trimmings, a steak tartare, hold the onions. <laughs> Velvety images shrink with the rain. I want a drip dry cunt that can take it again and again and again. I want a masthead with breasts. That's me. Who screams out, pierce me, steal me. <laughs> Graveyards wretch with the stink of one trillion broken hearts. Nobody gets out of here alive. I'll break your neck before you castrate me. Take this and scream out, pierce me, steal me, seize me with your white heart steel. <laughs> That was quite delightful. Though it certainly wasn't the poem we gave you the award for. You seem to have added some... Well, you've taken some left turns yourself. It was really uh, very interesting. Very interesting. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm really happy you won the award. I know how much you need the money. Thank God I have my alimony. Otherwise, I could never survive as a poet. <laughs> I'm also pleased to present this check for $25 to the winner of our honorable mention, the very talented and up-and-coming Gloria. Awesome, man. That was so far out. Man. Oh, we're rich. <laughs> no, it was great, like sexy and everything. Chicken. Tetrasini. There was this chick at that other table. She was like twisting around in her chair. I thought she was gonna lie right down on the floor and do it under the table. But she was so fucking horny, man. Where is she? Oh, she left with her boyfriend. They're probably home rattling the windows right now. I'm not lying, I was so bitching. I was a fucking turn on, man. Oyster Rock. A fella. You didn't know he was a virgin, would you? I mean, from looking at him and shit. I am not a virgin. Yeah, right. Well, don't imply that I am. Well, it's not a crime or nothing. I happen to have had a very big, very passionate affair in graduate school. Come on, man. Loosen up, dude. Don't get rad on me now. Did I say I didn't believe you? It's not what you say. It's how you say it. It's your, your attitude. OK, shoot. I'm listening. Captive audience. I was her first love. We were mad about each other. For three months, I gave her back rubs. I worshipped every inch and crease in her body. I sucked her toes. I, 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 I drank her bath water. And her old man found out about it. Had... What, man? I can't hear you, man. Her old man found out about us and had me arrested. <laughs> <laughs> no sense of humor, huh? <laughs> she was a junior. Oh? What was she saving it for? In high school. Ted, my man! <laughs> I really love it. You know, if I found a girl I love that much, I think I'd get married again. No matter what I do, women dump on me. Assuming, of course, I found a girl that likes to drink, too. 
there's anything I hate, it's a goddamn deep puddle. Doesn't matter what I say or how I act. Oh, look, there's Ted. Let's go dump on him. The thing is, you have to stop and take a whiz like every 30 minutes. Well, in my opinion, most women don't really know what they want anyway. I mean, what do women want, really? Did you ever used to have these problems? Boy, everybody has these problems. Women dump on men. Men dump on women. That's how the sex is related. <laughs> I don't want to relate. I want to get laid. Everybody wants to get laid. <laughs> Max, hey, hey. Jeez, what the heck are you doing down there? He's taking a little Venice mud bag. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, I'm not Lisa. Lisa, I am not Lisa. I'm Lisa. I'm leaving. You mean the world to me, Henry. Oh, baby, I love you so much. I don't know what I do. American people, they will prove these things without question. One, that I had no knowledge whatever of the Watergate break-in before it occurred. Two, bullshit. Hey, so what do you want to do? You want to see the Dodgers or not? Linda? Looks like I've got a million things to do. 